What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex over here in the Let's Ride Garage. And as you can see behind me, I have a couple of wheels, tires, alcohol, rim tape, and some scissors. I also have a few other parts over here in the drawers that we're going to be using to get these tires to go tubeless. I'm not going to bore you with all the details. I'm just going to let it go. And other than that, I'll come back with you and keep you posted. Before I show you the end product, if you haven't, and if you're new here, please subscribe, turn that notification bell on. If you're back, welcome back. And if you wanna support the channel, you can check the affiliates in the description below. You can buy me a cup of coffee, you can become a channel member, and also, I will link everything that I'm using on the description below. So other than that, let's get to the good part. All right, so as you can see, I have some hillbilly tires. I, I already talked about these tires before. I got them on special. I got that used rear wheel. It's a WTV KOM uh, 35. And this is a WTV STI 35. That's a 35 mock off rim tape, scissors, alcohol to clean everything up. And then over here in my drawer, I have a few bulb stem and I'm gonna grab a couple of them. These are Presta. So I'm gonna be using the Presta ones. Here's one and here is the other one so i have a couple more so that's a good thing and i also have a couple of schrader valves if you have stock wheels like the axum you can use this and set them tubeless but other than that i'm gonna stick with the presta because that's what i need for these wheels and uh this wheel is already pre-taped, so I'm gonna set the tire up. Hopefully it holds the, the bead and doesn't lose air. And if it doesn't, then I will replace this, the, the tape. And this one, however, it is not taped at all. So I'm gonna tape it up first and then go ahead and install the valves, all that good stuff. Now, besides the rim tape, I'm also gonna be using the Markov tubeless sealant because that's what I've been using and that's what I have in hand right now and I have not had any issues whatsoever. That thing is hard to put on, but it got there, so that's good. Let me lean this thing up against something else. Let's hear the pop. All right, now I gotta do the other one and see what's happened. Holy shit, that scared the crap out of me. I went over 58 pounds. That was the last thing that I saw. That was way too much. I hope that I did not damage the tire. It doesn't seem, it just seems like it popped part of the bead completely. So let me reset this thing. That was freaking loud. Oh, oh my God. Ah. I did it, don't do it, don't do it. All right, so two tubeless tires, both of them are the Hillbilly grids. Those are the same ones that I have on my painted Axum. Like I told you before, I bought like, I got two, that's four. And I still have four, four more. 
I still have four more of those tires. Two of them are gonna go on my dad's Axum. And these are gonna be for another project that I'm working on, so stay tuned for that. And uh, again, all I gotta do is put, in, put the sealant in, but they should be good to go. One of them was already pre-taped. This one I had to tape in, but I already had the bow stems and all that, so it was pretty simple to do. Again, that explosion, I was never, I have never had any issues with that before. Tire is fine, nothing happened to it, it's holding air and everything, so it did not get damaged, it just popped out of the, of the wheel, but that was freaking loud, it, it kind of like, thought I was gonna, I don't know, something weird happened. But other than that, pretty easy set up, again, this is, this is the WTB KOM 35, and this is boost spacing, 148 at the rear. And this is 100 by 115 at the front, both on boot spacing, WTV STI 35. I leave a link for everything that I use and anything I can find in the description below. So check them out if you're interested in doing something like this. Other than that, that was just a quick video. I hope that you like it. I hope that you find it entertaining. And if you didn't, just, just let me know why in the comments below. And uh, if you want to support the channel again, check the affiliates in the description below. And if you made it this far, thank you for sticking in. And if you want to help me out, just like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. And I guess I'll see you on the trails. Let's ride.